what is up you guys it's Jalen back with another video and today I am going to be filming why do I always go like that I just need to stop today I am going to be showing you my rose hair tarantula enclosure uh, what setup they should have and how I enclose my animal um for a lack of better words the cage that i put my animal in i'm gonna show you uh what that looks like and what they should have and all of that good stuff there's a thing on my lens by the way my tarantula her name is chaka she's very sweet very friendly uh she loves everybody quite the angel and she just deserves the best i don't really have much else to say besides the fact that i hope you guys enjoy the video Alrighty, so I have this Tupperware container thing, um, size, uh, size is 16 by 11 by 5 and a half, whatever that means, um, but it's big enough for my tarantula, bottom line. Tarantulas don't really need, like, that huge of an enclosure, but I just thought this would be big enough for her to walk around in a bit, and, um... Yeah, it's bigger than the one that she's in now, and I'm excited to put her in this. I love her so much, and yeah, uh, okay, I'm gonna shut up. So what I like to do is either put um, paper towels or newspaper at the bottom of the container before I put in the substrate, because, uh, of course, it doesn't fit in perfectly. Mm. Hold on the newspaper in I just feel like it's easier to clean when there's not newspaper wow I'm stupid I just feel like it's easier to clean when there's paper towels or newspaper at the bottom of the container because instead of just like dumping out all the dirt when you're cleaning it you can just like pick up the newspapers and then throw it away and all the dirt's already on top of it uh anyway I'm gonna go get the eco earth so I got my eco earth um I use this stuff because it's really good at holding in Humidity, which tarantulas need for whenever they molt. Because if they don't have the proper humidity when they're molting, then they'll die. And we do not want that. We gonna need more than that. Ugh. I keep getting dirt in my fingernails. I put in like an inch and a half, two inches of the Eco Earth. Um, and now I'm a, I'm a put her rock down and get her water dish. I wanted to use this water dish, but I feel like it's too deep because I'm always afraid that she's going to drown in her water dish, even though like I have a sponge for it. Um, I'm going to go get her and go get the stuff that's in her cage now to put it in here. Here we go. And... I've been told that it's good to use like sponges for tarantulas in their water so they don't drown but um I don't know if I should put it in her water dish or not I've always used sponges for my tarantulas growing up but a lot of YouTube videos that I've seen on like spider enclosures tarantula enclosures don't use sponges in the water dishes so what I think I'm gonna do is just like inflate the sponge with water and just set it in the cage rather than putting it in the water dish Hello, it is I from the future editing the video. Um, I just wanted to throw in a quick little note that if you do decide to use a sponge for them, sponges can get moldy pretty fast. Um, so you gotta make sure that you're changing it frequently uh, if it starts to get moldy. I usually, I have like this pretty sizable sponge. And when I had it in her cage for a while, I cut it in half to make sure that there was no mold in it. Um, but yeah, I'll let you get back to the video. Peace. I'm also 
gonna put this rock in here somewhere for an extra little uh, climbing thing. And get these crickets off of the sponge. Get off. Crickets also like to use the sponge. Can you get off so I can bury it more, my love? No? You don't want to get off? How are you? I think she's pretty content right there. Um, okay, and I also got this flower thing. I'm gonna cut off one of the flowers on this little fake flower thing that I got to put in here just to give her more like places to hide. Now let's take the baby girl. Let's bury this and let's put a flower here and put it here. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, tarantulas don't really need much. They just need a place to hide and a good amount of substrate because a lot of them have, like, hides underground and with the substrate they can, like, kind of dig and make their little houses and put webs everywhere. Uh, I think I'm going to add some more flowers just so you have more places to go. Okay, mamacita. Give her some water. You're good to go, baby girl. You wanna see your cage? Look. Hi, doll. Hi, honey. Let's put her down, see if she does anything. Look. You got a whole new cage. Arrgh! Look at that. You got a whole new cage. Look at you. Are you happy? I cut a bunch of holes in the side of the cage. Um, just so obviously she can breathe. And I put like this net stuff on it so the crickets don't get out. And yeah. I think, uh, think she's going to be doing well in her new little enclosure she's got here. All right. Good girl. I love you. Well, that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any suggestions that you think I should add to her enclosure, let me know. I don't think I'm missing anything unless I should just add, like, more stuff for her to hide in. But yeah, um, I transferred all of her crickets from her old cage into there. So now they're all hopping around in their new uh, improved cage enclosure setup. But yeah, also leave me any suggestions of any videos that you would like me to do. Uh, I really want a pet scorpion and I'm highly, highly debating getting a pet scorpion. So leave a comment if you think I should get one. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of my animals there and me, mainly me, because it's Instagram. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.